Hi everyone, today we're going to do a care sheet read on the African regular scorpion um, or scientific name Pandidus carving man I think it is um, so as the name suggests this species is from Africa uh, same area as the emperor well, um, as the same family uh, Pandinos, I think it is that's how I say it um, so yeah only differences really uh, show a bit more aggression uh, this one's pretty evil to be fair um, and as the name also suggests red claws and legs and a bit on the tail which is really cool um, yeah so this is what I've got mine in it's a 32 litre uh, tank or just whatever you want to call it um, yeah uh, you don't need anything near this size really uh, anything like a five gallon should be fine for this size as an adult I pull it in something about this size as they apparently can get to like nine inches I don't know if that's true or not but uh, yeah so uh, most of the stuff in here is just mostly for decoration like the court bark and stuff um, I've put a big water bowl in just to match us tank really, you don't really need that and just for it to bathe because when the humidity is getting down they like to bathe to well, you know get the humidity up I suppose um, so yeah definitely a water bowl they can fit in fit the whole body in um, that's really what you need also you need a hide, I've just got a plant pot with soil just over it um, yeah it's nice and dark in there for him so he likes that um, uh, yeah, also, um, like I said before, I've got court bark in here just to add a bit of texture to the ground um, and some slate there, which is, he seems to like that. Uh, stag moss is to keep the humidity up because um, even though from Africa you still need humidity to be about 60 to 80% for the species, they seem to really like that. Um, yeah, the substrate, what I use is a uh, Exoterra plantation soil uh, stagnant moss mix, maybe a bit of cocoa bark or cocoa fibre, whatever you want to call it, as well, just for extra humidity. Um, for temperatures, I usually keep this at 25 to 28 degrees. If um, Also, if you see them in a water bowl, it can mean it's too hot. Uh, if it's too hot, they're usually very active, and if they're too cold, um, they'll be in their hide almost all the time and not feed. So you really need it in the 25 to 28 degrees range. Uh, that's Fahrenheit, by the way. Not, oh no, not Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Don't it? Don't it? That Fahrenheit. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all you need. Really, it's quite easy species to keep. Quite interesting. Uh, quite aggressive feeders which is cool I'm just going for a swim um, yes yeah, like I said need nothing this size really uh, I just like my pets to have big enclosures so you know yeah okay, so that's all you need feeding wise um, I usually feed him well I try to feed him about twice a week doesn't really eat because it's winter time at the minute. In summer, he'll probably eat a bit more, so I'll probably feed him a bit more. Probably about four crickets a week, maybe. Uh, maybe even that. Because um, obesity is quite a big problem with these species of scorpions, so you don't know how to feed them. So, yeah, that's pretty much all you need. Um, just make sure you got a water bowl and hide and just something, you know. Do like a bit of core work or something just for them to feel like. Um, um, I wouldn't really recommend the scorpions the first time for the novice keeper. I'd recommend more of a emperor and Asian forest, which I've got up there in that tank car. There's, um, if you want to see some videos on them, there's some on my our channel. Sorry. So yeah, just click on that and subscribe if you like. So. Yeah, if you've got any questions on this species or anything, uh, any, any other scorpion, uh, just ask us, just um, leave a comment on this video or um, private message us, anything really, so, 
Uh, okay, guys, thanks for watching. Just rate, subscribe, and whatever you want. Okay, thanks.